When I first started finding out about new school rules, I actually didn't know what to expect because I've been studying the Asian music scene, Asian urban music scene for a while now. And so I became quite disconnected from Europe and even from my roots um, coming up in the Canadian music scene. And uh, when we arrived, it was such a beautiful city. It was really a beautiful city. People were so friendly, uh, so welcoming. We just saw so many characters. You could see the characters of every artist and the way they expressed and their own style and their own flow. And I think that alone as an artist is so inspiring. Uh, I found that New School Rules was a lot less corporate than a lot of the music festivals that I've been to, and yet the people that attended New School Rules uh, were reputable artists, were reputable publishers, reputable people in the industry. So I, I love that. I love that it was more of a human element to this music conference and this hip-hop and urban music conference um, than there has been to a lot of the conferences I've been to. And the true spirit of freestyle, of jamming, of creativity, of collaboration, everything all in that moment was right there. And I really, really loved that about New School Rules. And that sound system doesn't just become like a yay party time. It is a symbol of being able to take back your freedom and create your own spaces and create your own concept and carve your own path. So I think the level of authenticity um, there was a time where Asia maybe was like, wow, look at these cool American rappers, and then it's emulation, right? It's a game of emulation. Mm -hmm. I think we've gone to a point now where it's gotten so sophisticated. I could go to Joe, Joe's jams in like KL, and Girl in Tudong is singing like Shaka Khan. So I was on a panel called Asia Does It Better, and uh, being able to share the climate of Asia right now, um, the, whether it's like a social issue or whether it's from an artist's point of view or even from a, I was able to share from a business point of view as well. And I guess around the world it's the same idea. Uh, it's to bring innovation. It's to introduce music in formats that have never been introduced. I was able to share about my Jamaican jerk sauce, which was really dope. And um, it was also really good to have on the panel with me, like Mo was there, Joe was there, Young Raja was there. And there was a bit of a sense of solidarity where I could look along the panel and be like, hey, you know what? Big up, you guys. And I'm really glad that the Asian panel has the right people representing. And that made me really proud as someone that is pushing and growing uh, here in Singapore and in Southeast Asia. Asia One is who I have the utmost respect for. So it's nice when Major Wong could come through and do this. Need me, face on the rhythm, heart beat in the spark at night, the summer sleep, and hits you with a sense of breeze, I'll get up with the keys. There was definitely a Canadian presence felt at New School Rules and that's very much a part of my career as an artist because I was brought up in, in Toronto's hip-hop scene, you know, like that's who schooled me, that's who grew me up. So it was really wonderful to reconnect with Canada in a way reconnecting with my roots and seeing, being able to reflect as an artist how much I have grown from coming up in the Canadian game and taking all that I learned through America to the Caribbean and now being in Southeast Asia and having this burning desire to share back uh, with the people that kind of brought me up in the music game. Would I go back? Hell yeah! I miss all the beautiful smiles and amazing people and talented artists and knowledgeable uh, experts that I met 
uh, there in Rotterdam. Uh, of course, I would go back. I hope to go back every year. I hope to see the same faces and see how they've grown in their craft. And I also hope to see new faces and be a part of that new school. You know, the new school rules, you know. The new, new. The new, new. <laughs> Say your prayers, you listen to Manila, check the beat the itchy nigga, be 